Hi guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. Today we're talking about a how-to guide install your Oculus MetaQuest 3 to your PC using this time the Link cable, as we did another video with AirLink, and it did overheat at 90 hertz and completely died. Do go and check out that video in the link description below. The question is, is it gonna overheat with the link cable as well and die too? You're gonna have to go and watch the live stream I'm doing in a few hours where I'll be using VR F1 2023 with the Oculus Link cable directly attached live. So do go and check out that video. I'll put also a link in the description below. And yeah, so today's video, I'm gonna let you know, it did test this, by the way, this cable for a few hours already, about six, seven hours. So I'm gonna give you my thoughts about it at the end of the video. But for now, you can go, by the way, to the zybervr.com's website and use the promo code site wide, everybody, where you can get 15% off, one five percent off from any products on their entire site using the VR Essentials promo code VR Essentials. Very, very simple. Link in the description below as well as to where you can get all this. So this will be the cable. Let's go to quick view that we're testing today, which is only worth about 20 US dollars or so. So let me just go to the actual product itself. There we go. So it uh, easily extends 100 plus games and dive into PC VR. It's got 30 AWG drain wire up to 2.5 um, gigabytes, fast and stable transmission, sorry, uh, GBPS, uh, fast and stable transmission of data and power, VR streaming up to 2000 Mbps uh, in bitrate. Make sure you're using 3.0 uh, USB port to unlock the 80 and 90 Hertz modes. For Now this was designed originally for Quest 2 and they will have a updated cable in the future. So do hit the notification bell after you subscribe for that for the Quest 3, but it works completely fine. I mean, I'll give you my overview at the end of this video as to what the video is, what how the cable is like and my first impressions of it. Increases visual quality and reduces the number of compression artifacts. USB and USB-C plugs built by nickel-plated iron and golden-plated pins. Oxidized aluminum alloy shell makes little change of appearance during the usage. Innovative green LED power indicator humanized 90 degrees port with energy saving trapezoid shape. Strict quality tests ensuring over 10,000 times plug in and out, safe and environment friendly with certifications. So yeah, and by the way, their strap is really, really fantastic. I really love the, the Elite strap that they're selling. It's really cool. And I also have the accessory with the power bank that you put on your shoulders, which is fantastic for car sims or flight sims or any PC VR stuff that you wanna do sitting down or, or VR experience that you want to do sitting down. Standing up, I haven't tested it yet, but for sitting down, very, very, very good. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do will be to install the actual software from the actual website itself. So all you have to do is type in Oculus Link Software and then you'll see this will come out. It says Metastore and it's oculus.com download underscore apps here. Now you can go and click the link that I put in the description below as well, FYI, I'll put it there for you. Uh, you just click on it and then what will happen is it will download automatically from here. It doesn't even go anywhere. It just downloads it automatically for you. Then go and check it out and then basically click on run as administrator computer, which if I was just to click on this link very quickly and just show you what those minimum requirements are, this includes a processor Intel i5-4590 or an AMD Ryzen 5 1500X or greater. For graphics card, CGPU table, so we'll look at that in a minute. Memory, at least eight gigabytes of RAM. Operating system, Windows 10, Windows 11, and USB ports, one at least. Um, for the NVIDIA GPU, you need, uh, not currently supported for NVIDIA Titan Z. NVIDIA Titan X, it is supported. NVIDIA G GeForce, excuse me, GTX 970, uh, 970 is also supported. Uh, NVIDIA GTX 1060 desktop 3GB is not. However, the 6GB is. And then uh, the NVIDIA 1070 or R, 1080R, uh, 1650 isn't, 1650 Super is, 1660 is also, 1660 Ti is also. Uh, RTX 2070s, all of them are okay, or the RTX 20 series, excuse me. RTX 30 series, all can also, and RTX 40 series, also every single one can. For AMD series 200, you cannot, 300, you cannot also. 
400 is supported, 500, 5000, 6000 uh, series, and also the AMD Vega series are also all supported, everybody. So we can see the actual uh, get started. So of course, for me, it's not started yet. Uh, you can read, of course, the terms and conditions. So do read them. And then you can install now. So I'll install it in my C drive. Although uh, it could also be good to install it in your uh, NVMe drive if you have NVMe, uh, perhaps for faster uh, processing. It will depend on your machine though, so do leave a comment below if you try doing this before, if you're someone who you know, did this using Quest 2 and then you found you had issues, do leave some comments below so you know, we can make the community aware of this. So install now, so there you go. So it's gonna take about 2.12 gigabytes worth of space inside of your machine. Okay, so everything is installed. Now we just need to click next and then the window closes and then comes back up and then you have to set up your meta uh, account. If you don't have one, you can also log in with Facebook or with Instagram. So I'm gonna continue with my Facebook. So it's gonna automatically patch through to my Facebook. There we go, so log in. So continue as Lazius, yes, that's right. Open, there we go. All right, and there we go, we're in. So now what I need to do is choose the appropriate headset, but as you can tell, there is no Quest 3 here at the moment, which is very, very unusual. Okay, so by quitting, it actually now, then when I went back in, I can see my Quest 3 now. So there we go, we press on continue. And then it's gonna say select a connection method. Now, what I advise you do, first of all, make sure that you plug in your Oculus Airlink cable in the headset first and the other end in your USB 3.0 slot before you switch on the headset, before you switch on the headset, as the headset is prone to some bugs and the most bug that generally occurs is that it won't be able to recognize that you have a cable attached Normally you have a pop-up that comes up, things that will happen. I will show you this process in just a minute. And basically it might never come up. And that's because unfortunately, most of the time you need to power off your headset first, plug in the cable into the headset, plug the other end into your PC, and then switch on your Meta Quest 3, okay? Don't have it run in and then put the cable in. It might not work. And if it doesn't work, then you need to power it off and then do as I said, which is put the cable in your MetaQuest 3 first, then your PC VR, and then switch it on after. Okay, are we good on that? Cool. So what I now need to do is I need to switch on the actual headset. All right, so the headset is now switched on. I'm inside in mixed reality, as you can see. So basically all we need to do, if I just bring the actual panel here, there we go, is go to systems and then go and look for Quest Link. There we go here. Now make sure that this thing here is Unabled. If it's not enabled, it will not work. Make sure that this is enabled and then click on launch quest link here. There we go. Now make sure that this is disabled because it's enabling air link will disable link cable. So make sure that this is disabled if you want to use your actual link cable. And as you can see, it says Rift connected. So it will generally try to search for your computer or something, but it says Rift connected. So all you have to do is Make sure that you clicked on it and then you can click on launch here. However, if we're doing the setup and we go back to the actual computer, we click on link cable here and then we click on continue. Connect your headset, plug the USB-C end of your cable into your headset, then make sure to plug the other end into a cable with USB 3 port on your computer. Yes, we did that. And you can see the icon here has the green uh, dot plus the dash, so we click continue. Check your cable connection. Make sure your USB connection meets the compatibility requirement for Quest Link. Learn more about Support Center or test your connection now. So you can go and test it as well. Let's click on continue for us. Setup complete, so we can close it. There we go. And basically we go back here and then we just click on launch. Now before we do that, I just want to show you one of the settings. So that was very easy, very fast. So what you can do is go to devices and then click on this here. And this will show you various different different things, excuse me. So Quest 3 microphone, yes, we want this on. Quest 3 headphone speaker, so the sound coming out of the speaker, yes, we want this on. Here, VR audio from computer. Now you want to switch this on, of course, if 
you, for example, have friends or all these kind of things, and you also want them to hear this. Now, generally speaking, it's better to switch this on before you're going to switch on your VR headset and connect it to the actual uh, link. So you, if you still don't hear your sound coming out, you basically have to um, close it and then open it up again for some kind of reason. I'm not quite sure why, but that's just how it is. And then also what you can do is you can go to advanced and you can change here from 72, 80 or 90 hertz. Okay. Now in today's live stream with the Oculus link cable, I will be putting it on 90 hertz. I recommend that you try 72 hertz first, see how you go. And then, you know, if you have any issues, bring it down. Now I don't recommend changing this either. And I also don't, by the way, recommend changing any settings whatsoever in private folders where you can go into the debug oculus folders and change settings there manually i do not recommend that you do that there are videos circulating online where it teaches you how to change the bitrate the resolution all this to things that are absolutely telling you oh wow it's going to be the best graphics best is but your headset might overheat and die on you so i just don't suggest that you do that but okay so let's just save and restart so what's going to happen is that it will disable itself and then it will just come up automatically again on its own at 90 hertz. So there we go. It's spooling. It's, um, it's coming up. So it will just take a few seconds. There we go. Let's go back to devices, click on this again. And if we go back to here, you say it says 90 hertz. So now if we go back, we click on launch here. It's going to ask you to confirm your boundary first. So just confirm it or create a new boundary up to you. And then now go into the actual Oculus link MetaQuest 3 link dashboard. As you can see, the screen might go dark just for a brief minute, by the way. And then do make sure that your Wi-Fi is on properly. As you can see, the middle part is still spooling. And to exit, all you have to do is go to disable quest link here. And then you can just disable and it will go straight back into your Quest 3 home menu. And to access your actual PC, let's say, all you have to do is go to desktop or you can click on the plus and then you can go and access all the various different things. So for example, if you want to go to Steam, all you have to do is click on this and then Steam will automatically load up here. And then what we can do is we can go to library and then we can go to uh, Steam VR. So there we go, the keyboard comes up, Steam VR. And then we click on launch. And then normally what's gonna happen is that Steam VR will automatically launch itself. There we go, so it's launching. And by the way, so we're going to go to the Steam VR home now. And there we are, we're inside of Steam VR home. And inside you can pretty much do all the various different things that you would do on a normal PC VR headset. Now the graphics are not too bad. I will give you my full review about the actual Quest Link, you know, uh, using the Oculus Link cable with the MetaQuest 3 on doubtfully in terms of, you know, resolution and all these kind of different things. Because, you know, you can also, of course, if you go to, um, you press on the button to bring everything up again. So let's just get rid of the actual keyboard. There we go. We can also, by the way, reset the view this way by clicking on the app. And then we just press one of the buttons and it will reset the view automatically. And then also what we can do is if we click on, for example, contractors, we can go to view details. And then from here, we can go to home video settings. For example, my video, uh, my Steam VR home is only set at 146 by 1596 or 34%. So we could bump this up all the way to 3208, 3488 as I have a powerful computer and return to home. There we go. So there we are. Now, by the way, I do use, I am going to be using for the live stream tonight, my RTX 480 i7 14th gen. But right now, doing this video, I'm actually using my RTX 2070 i7 9th gen, just FYI. But that's basically how you set up the actual Oculus MetaQuest link cable with your PC. So let me give you some tips after right now as I leave VR and also give you my first impression about the cable itself. So let's leave VR. Disable. And boom, 
we're back inside of Mixed Reality, everybody. So basically, the actual link cable itself, now it's not too bad, you can, with this specific, um, they give you, when you order your Zyber VR, they actually give you some stuff to be able to hook it up at the back. So they give you like the, the, the sticker thing, the, um, you know, the, the Velcro thing to put. So not too bad. The cable is not too heavy. It's really, really long. It's, uh, I don't know how many meters, but it has to be at least three meters, if not four meters. It's really, really long cable. Plenty of cable to go around, I have to admit. And also the battery, now it does drain. It does go down bit by bit by bit by bit, but it doesn't go down by that much. I'm still able to play with my link cable for a good few hours, at least four or five hours without any issues at full throttle on you know F1 2023 VR mode. But the question is, I haven't tried 90 hertz yet. Is it going to overheat my MetaQuest 3 and die? I do not know, but I can tell you right now that at 72 hertz, there are no issues whatsoever. Everything works absolutely perfectly. And So yeah, so guys, so far so good, but do join the live stream as I mentioned, and do hit the notification bell after you subscribe also for more juicy videos coming very soon and hit the likes so more people get to discover today's video, of course, and together we can grow the VR Essentials YouTube community. And remember, you get a 15% discount sidewise, site wide, excuse me, using the promotional code VR Essentials. Details in the link description below the like button. Pretty, pretty awesome stuff, guys. All right, I'll see you in the live stream very shortly. Bye for now. Bye.